What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Auto 3 Garage. And if you tune in, make sure to sub in and like this video. And I appreciate y'all. As y'all can see, I am doing an electric fan conversion uh, compared to the clutch fan. First thing first, you want to do with out all this in the way you want to remove um the fan shroud assembly right here you want to remove your hose that goes across and y'all it's not rocket science moving this clutch fan only thing you need is a big behind adjustable wrench lock it on there and then hit it that way uh counterclockwise and boom the wheel is free and then you can move everything and have your area cleared uh, make sure y'all have the upgraded uh style uh radiator uh before you, you know do this swapping on that this i got this from amazon it slides in like butter and no issue so right now only thing we have to do is just wire this bad sucker up and just go from there so i must end up showing the wiring harness so guys this is my fan wiring harness as you can see these are the two plug-ins uh, for each fan uh the high and low fan one here one here got a ground here got your relays here Got your power source here. Also got your ground here. And this go into this bad boy down here, which is the PCM. I believe the green go to the green connector and then this white one will go uh, to the blue one. Um, so yeah, so let me uh, get her hooked up and uh, just go from there. So first thing first, I'm gonna remove these four bolts right here so we can lift this bad boy up right here so we can have access and all that underneath. So guys, once you have that one part moved, all you wanna do, just lift this up. Got these uh, two clips on each side, just pry it off and just lift her up. All right guys, so this Amazon uh, wiring harness I got I uh, don't like the placement of this uh, relay, but I'm gonna work what I got and uh, just look uh, for one down the road. But for right now, this would do. I already have uh, both of my uh, fans plugged in. Uh, now what I want to do is uh, use this uh, positive uh, cable terminal, uh, cable, and uh, put it here. So I need to remove this bolt, put it here. Um, and then our negatives, I might end up just uh, grinding it out right there. And then we're gonna uh, see uh, what's under here. So guys, I am unscrewing this little part right here. I think it's a seven millimeter, yeah it is. This is from uh, this um, box here. I mean, you could plug it up there, but I mean, I think it's gonna look uh, better plugged up over here. My camera can focus. So guys, this wiring harness I got from Amazon, uh, I do have to extend this one particular ground, which you will probably not see. Uh, probably just turn my flash on and show you. But um, just got another pigtail uh, from my light bar. Been there, I was like, you know, never using it. So we're gonna end up hooking that together. So we got wire done right here, guys. Now I'm gonna throw some heat, shrink over and go from there. So guys, I got all my grounds connected and also had to tidy up this um, wiring harness just a little bit. Uh, what I'm gonna do is just uh, test the fan. So I'm gonna get the battery, hook it up and uh, test these fans. I think uh, one, like I said, mentioned one of these high speed and one of them low speed. So we just gonna uh, see how that uh, go. So guys, we got our positive cable hooked up. We got the negative uh, cable hooked up. And uh, these two wires that go to the PCM, um, we're just gonna tap it on the ground and you should be able to hear a fan. I know y'all hear that. And if I get a good damn uh, ground. So guys, we're gonna do 
our other side, which is our low side, I believe. Can hear it. Yeah, that's our high side. That's our high side. Yeah, if I can get it, I ain't good. Come on. As we confirm that both fans work, just need to pin it up. So guys, I removed the PCM. You got the clip right here, and then you lift this tab up right here, and then it just slides out right there. We got seven millimeters on these two ends right here, so I need to take it off. So guys, do not be like me. Uh, anyway, I got the back side in. You got like uh, two tabs you can like push in. Uh, be real easy with it. Uh, don't be like me. Now I got to uh, figure out how I'm going to get this out. And then I need to go to pin 42 or 43. I will reconfirm uh, once I get back. So, guys, I removed the locking pin um, clip. As you can see, just uh, use like a pick or something. Just press in right there. As you can see, you probably can't press in right here on both sides and then pry it out real easy you should be able to get it but uh for the blue side uh we're going to be using the white wire and we're going to be going to pin number 42 on here so i need to you know punch a hole run it through and uh put the clip back on and that'd be pretty much it for the blue side as y'all can see that is pin 42 right there you go from 41 42 43 and so forth so we're gonna be tapping in right there. Okay guys, so we got our white wire in. Uh, make sure your pin come all the way down until this clicks. And I'm about to go ahead and do the green side. So I might see what number that is. So the green is for the green connector. So we done with the blue. Um, This is gonna be pin 33, so I'm gonna get that done and once that's it then i'm gonna just leave this like this because like i said we gotta change the training uh sometime and i won't i might have to you know repin uh some areas and all that so it's gonna be pretty fun all right guys so i got everything pinned up nice and tight um i'm gonna leave everything like this because i am doing a turbo build on this truck so if you want to follow more with this build that we got going on, uh, continue sub in and um, let's get this Tahoe uh, back on the road. Uh, I'm gonna put the PCM up in a safe little place, but I'm gonna leave this, like I said, um, the reason why I'm having it out like this because I'm gonna be changing the transmission and stuff. So if I can find a good one somewhere, um, I can go in and do the swap. So I don't have to, you know, cry about it or worry about later and stuff um because if we're gonna put power we're gonna need to you know try to get extra you know girthiness out of this power train and all that so that's pretty much it so hope that helped out and um just the order you started just reverse it back and you have it uh, as you can see i tested the fans everything worked fine uh i pinned them uh, I believe for the green connector 33 and then the other one is 42 so yeah see y'all